What's happening, fellow trainers? Mr. Kins here. Whether you train at life, train in your job, train in school, train in Pokemon, train in TCG, whatever it may be, we're all trainers. Thank you for joining the channel. Thank you for checking out my videos. We're going to get right into it. All Same right. Thing. So I think the first thing we'll do is, you know, since they're already here, we'll go ahead and open up these uh, unified minds. Now, I'm a fan. I know a lot of people like holding on to the pack art. We'll get the uh, trusty scissors right here. So, But these three card packs, personally, they're a bit difficult to open up because you've got three cards. No, Not really any backing there. So there's a lot more potential to um, bend the corners do some damage to the cards. So, you know, I will say before I flip this around here, you know, with the three card mini packs, it's much more difficult that you find hits. Now I will say though, I do have a Genesect uh, GX out of there. <clears throat> Great looking card, Rainbow. I did get out of a three card mini pack uh, a couple weeks back. So you do get some solid hits out of there. Um, personally, you know, if you end up with a hollow, be grateful to be honest with you, because I've seen plenty of them where they are commons and uncommons. You don't even get a reverse hollow on there. So there's no guarantee of what you get. The other thing I will tell you is there is no card trick um, as far as these are concerned. Really, it's just pull the three cards and flip. Now, for the purpose of the video here, um, you know, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and flip around. So first one we've got, we've got a Fungus. We've got a Rare. So again, like I said, you can get the commons and uncommons, not even a Rare. So this one's a Nala Hollow Rare Exedril. And then we have an Uncommon Noctowl. Definitely a fan of that art. Nice little abstract there. So <clears throat> no real hits out of that. Then we'll move right into the uh, next pack of Unified Minds. All right. So looks like we've got a Dratini. Now, for all those that don't know me, which none of you guys really do at this point, but... Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam. Good little tidbit of information out there for all you guys that didn't know. Uh, it took about 20, 20 plus years. Um, actually, Kadabra was, there was a, uh, there was an issue back in the day with Kadabra. So the artwork for Kadabra, the name Kadabra was trademarked at the time, and Pokemon didn't have the right to that name. Um, so if you guys look it up there, I'll post up so you guys can see it. But yeah, there was an issue with Kadabra. Um, back in the day uh, with Wizards of the Coast and leading into Pokemon for about 20, 20 plus years around there. Um, and that led to some problems. But the original Kadabra cards, even though not very hard to find, I'm still a huge fan. Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam, as well as the uh, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. So those can be my favorites there. So absolutely love the Dratini cards. Love finding them. Got a Snover and a Basculin. So this right here is an example for you guys are looking. This is a common, common, and uncommon. Uh, no reverse hollow, no hollow, no ultra, nothing like that. So again, hit or miss in those three packs. It's more just opening up for fun, right? So we'll go ahead and then, uh, we'll move right on. So the first one I'll open up is going to be that Machamp there. All right. So then we got that nice little coin there. We'll go ahead and uh, move it up here. All right. And we've got that. There we go. The nice Machamp card there. Nice little hollow. It's nice every now and then to get guaranteed hollow out of it for the same price as actually, I would say it's cheaper than a typical booster pack. I mean, most of the times you're finding booster packs, even in MSRP between $3.99 and $4.50 a pack. So we'll go ahead and crack this one open real quick. Obviously, the one downside is you want to make sure that your cards are at the bottom here. Feel it out uh, if you ever cut a pack open, because I will say I have seen people in person cut these packs and accidentally clip a card. So occasionally in these three pack cards here, you will find that it's not a code card. It's just an advertisement. So letting you know, um, collect battle and trade. And then you've got the uh, apps right there. So, all right, we'll go ahead and flip these around. And we've got a bronzer. We've got a Sabrina's suggestion. That's a reverse holo. Pretty cool. And then an unidentified fossil. Okay. All right. So let me know out there, have you ever bought the three card packs, little mini packs you find in some of these stores? You know, like I said, a lot of times you'll find them at the uh, the Dollar Tree. Found a couple at the Family Dollar myself. Um, a lot of the dollar store packs. And a lot of times you can find them online. They're not very popular. I don't see them too much, but 
like I said, you know, for a dollar, if you're in there grabbing a drink real quick and you see a couple packs, you know, spend a few dollars. I mean, realistically, you're looking at four dollars ends up being about the same amount. If not, I mean, it's it's one more, right? So for four dollars, um, same amount of MSRP as a standard booster pack, and you're getting 12 cards. Now, obviously, the difference, like I said, you're not guaranteed a hollow. You're not guaranteed. You don't even guaranteed a rare. But tell me out there, have you guys bought any of these mini packs? I mean, personally, I probably bought between 40 and 50 of them. Like I said, it's it's fun to open up when you're in the in the parking lot or bring it home and just kind of want to sift through and see what you can find. But let me know, have you bought any? Have you any luck? Any ultra rares, any hits out of it? Do you still buy them? Do you feel uh, a bit let down because you haven't got anything? Pokemon.com, nice little advertisement. All right, so we've got Eevee. Tangru, so we've got a non-hollow rare in that one as well. And then a Deli Bird Uncommon. So as you guys can see, I mean, this is uh, literally, we've opened up three of those now, four, four of those. Um, and the only hollow we've gotten even was going to be that Machamp that we had there. But, you know, we did have that verse hollow Sabrina suggestion. So that wasn't a bad card. Um, so we're going to get right into this one. Uh, this is going to be that Dragonite promo. Technically speaking, it's just literally just a, a repack of the, um, the, the normal hollow that's in that set. <clears throat> a lot of these promo cards here. I don't have any handy right now, but you'll see them down in the card number. Usually they'll start with, for example, in this set, in the Sun and Moon series, you'll see it start with an SM followed by the number. That'll let you know, that's, that'll let you know that it's a promo card, uh, not really pertaining to the normal set. So a lot of times you'll see that. There's that coin again out there for those that want to see it. And we've got that nice Dragonite card there. Nice little hollow in the background. So we'll show that. And again, so this actually has the Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. Like I said, in the front pack. And then you have the base set Sun and Moon. Um, that Incineroar on that pack art. So definitely, a, a, it's a nice little set. Like I said, it's just something fun to open up for you guys out there. That if, you're, if you see it in a plaza and you're shopping, or you're going into Dollar Tree, Dollar General, uh, Family Dollar, any of those dollar stores, take a look. You know, it's, it's kind of worth spending an extra few bucks. You know, just flip through some packs. Everybody likes opening up some packs every now and then, right? So the first thing we'll do, we'll get into that Lost Thunder pack here. All right, so we've got a Pachirisu. Ooh, look at that, we got an Ultra Beast and a Heligo. And it's gonna be a Hollow. So that right there, my friends, that is gonna be, in my opinion, out of these three part mini packs is gonna be a hit, right? Um, obviously it's not an Ultra Rare, uh, but it's still a wonderful card. I mean, it's a Hollow, great condition. And then you've got your energy card, so. Another little dud right there, but again, just to show you guys here. Nice little hollow glare there. Good stuff. And then the last one of these here we've got is going to be the Sun and Moon base set. So what a way to finish off that one, huh? Fingers crossed here. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys have a favorite set of the Sun and Moon era? Personally? I'm a huge fan of the team up again. Um, I absolutely love the team up, even though it is the most expensive out of the set. Team up is a wonderful set. I absolutely love the way that they, um, a lot of the pack arts, just even a lot of the combinations, you know, adding these, the Pokemon together that really seem to mix. I mean, Gengar Mimikyu is definitely a good set up there. Uh, Pikachu Zek Zekrom, you know, you've got the Venusaur, um, I think Celebi, I think that's one right there. Um, you have a lot of good, a lot of good ones out there, but um, it's definitely a great set. So, anyways, let's get into this the Sun and Moon base. We've got a Caterpie, Paris, and that Energy. Man, look at that cut offset right there. All right, it's actually kind of funny there because, as you can see, the misprint on the top right there, back's fine. A little bit of centering, it's a little bit of centering issue on the bottom here, but otherwise, yeah. So another example, this is probably the biggest stud so far. Common Comet Energy. Great stuff, right? Anyways, let's get into the Vivid Voltage. So this one right here. Again, now I have never pulled a Thikachu myself. Neither the normal or the rainbow. Maybe this will be the first time. Pack me some luck. 
One, two, three. Flip it around. We're going to go for a psychic energy. Metal. All right. So, there we go. Drone Rotom. Swoobat. Loudred. Pick a peck. Trudel. I really like that to me. I'm a huge fan of shiny Pokemon. I really like that little ambient in the background, those little shiny symbols. Good stuff. Riolu. Chum Chow. Ninkata. We've got a reverse hollow Charmeleon. Nice little card. And a Colossal. Not a bad card. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we've got one more pack here, then we're going to ramp it up with that Celestial Storm. So again, I appreciate everybody for joining. This is my first video, as you guys can see on the channel here. We've got a lot of stuff in the works right now. Um, I'm going to... I'm definitely going to go over the in the future videos, but a lot of surprises, a lot of mystery stuff that we're going to be coming across. We've been working on this for a long time. I've been working on this for a long time. You know, we're, we've got a lot of stuff planned, um, a lot of giveaways. We've got some websites in the works. We've got some social media stuff, some merch, a lot of different things for you guys out there. Um, and for anybody that's joined me from the Reddit crew, um, I appreciate it. I really do. You know, we'll get you out some of those codes there as well. Um, and if for anybody, anybody that wants to just stick around, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know who you are. I'm going to go ahead and reply. Have a little conversation. Let me know. Is there something that you guys like to see that draws you all to these videos to watch these openings? If there is, and it, or something that you want to see more of, maybe something unique and you've got a great idea, shoot me a message. Let me know. You can find me on um, Twitter. We'll be up pretty soon. We've got the Reddit up there, so we'll let you know. I'll post all that down below. Um, but if you guys can... Let me know what you guys want to see. That's what I want to show. I've got my stuff here. I've got time on my hands right now. Let me know what you want to see. Because I'm going to show you what I want to see. But let me know. What do you guys like to watch? Anyways, let's get right into it. <clears throat> All right. So we've got here, I'm going with a fire energy. Fighting. All right. We've got Loudred. Zeb Striker, Coding Energy, Pineco, Clefairy, Tynamo, Nilseri, Galarian Meowth, Amazing Rare Celebi. That's a wonderful card. I actually don't have that one yet. I pulled quite a bit of their um, Kyogre's. So definitely one I pulled many of. That's a wonderful card there. Love that Amazing Rare. Nice little shine on that card as well. And followed up with a Hollow Magirna. Hollow Magirna. Great card as well. She's wonderful, especially in that new Pokemon series. For all those that aren't familiar, Pokemon actually took over exclusive rights to a new series on um, the Netflix. So Netflix has their own rights to a Pokemon series. And they're actually, I believe, either recently, I'll find out. Um, but they, they've released a new movie based on it as well, too. So again, Magirna plays a big role in that. Um, there's also, uh, I think, I believe a movie out there as well. It'll come back to me. But we got that McGear in a hollow. So, again, um, that Celebi, amazing rare. So, kind of zoom in, get some light in there for you. There we go. Look at that shine. All right. And lastly, we're going to go over this uh, Celestial Storm. Back to that Sun and Moon era. So, again, for those, I, I would be happy with any Rayquaza, Ray but um, Copycat huge fan of as well so can't forget that og rainbow energy too so there we go all right all right Copycat, Huntail, Grawl, Metatite, Spoink, Electric, Surskit, Onyx. I'm oh, looking really mean right there, Onyx. We've got a Rainbow Energy Switch and a Registeel Non-Hollow. There's that energy card there. So 
Registeel non-hollow. Then you've got that under your switch. That's really a throwback art, huh? A little art style there, the oddish. Love that on the back corner. All right. Now, again, I mean, this is kind of just a little tidbit of uh, cards. I just really wanted to get the setup and everything done. Um, I appreciate everybody joining me today. You know, if you guys can, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be posting up some, some videos pretty often. You know, we're going to be doing some live streams, some giveaways, some box breaks and everything. But, again, thank you guys for joining.